Europe is the third location in terms of greenhouse gas emission. We are issuing altogether in Europe 3.5 billion tons of CO2, after China 11 billion tons and the US 5 billion tons. The European Commission has taken a very clear stance and uh, has decided to reduce its uh, CO2 emission by 40% before 2030. Obviously, Suez will strongly contribute to this commitment. And in our sustainable development report, we have taken two types of commitments. First, we are going to reduce our own activity by 30% in terms of CO2 emission before 2030. Second, we are going to help our customers to save up to 60 million tons of CO2 between 2016 and 2020. That represents 12 million tons of CO2 avoided year after year in the next five years. Obviously, the waste activity will strongly contribute to this medium-term commitment. How? Notably through the production of uh, uh, renewable energy. Through waste management, we are able to produce electricity, we are able to produce steam, we are able to produce heat, but we are also able to produce uh, RDF, which stands for Refuse Derived Fuel. RDF is a, is a sorted waste which has no economical value as such, but which still have a very high energy content. In Europe, we have already a, a very strong presence as far as energy is concerned. We are managing 55 units and we are present in France, in the UK, in Belgium, in the Netherlands, in Germany and in Poland. In 2016, we have treated through energy recovery 8.5 million tons of waste. So it is already a sizable activity in the group. Over the last uh, two months, we have put in operation four very large units, three of those in the UK, in Merseyside for Liverpool, uh, in Cornwall and uh, in Bristol for the uh, borough of West London. So three in the UK and one in Poland in Poznan. This is our first energy from waste facility in Poland. So all in all, those four units will bring an annual uh, activity for more than 1.2 million tons. So without a doubt, we will be over 9 million tons of uh, energy that will be produced through waste management in 2017. And we are able to produce more than 7 terawatt hour of energy. So for our colleagues, it represents the annual consumption of a city of 1.8 million inhabitants. So exactly as if Suez were providing energy to a city of the size of Budapest, of Vienna or of Hamburg. So we have already a very strong presence uh, and we are able through that waste activity to reduce the CO2 emission of our activity by 1.5 million tons of CO2 per annum. We are already working on numerous projects on incineration on one hand and uh, RDF and energy production on the other hand. Not only in Europe, but also in the international division. We are working on projects in Africa, in, in Middle East, in China and in Australia. So I strongly believe that uh, by 2020, the amount of waste that will be energy recovered will be way above 10 million per annum. So all in all, through energy recovery and waste management, we will be able to produce an energy that will be cost effective, low carbon and local.